Hey, it's March 26th, that makes it a Tuesday, and this is the Roger Williams Media Minute. Today I wanted to talk with you about work from home. Recently, there's been a lot of mention in the news about work from home because Marissa Meyer, the CEO of Yahoo, recently ended all work from home capabilities uh, for Yahoo employees across the board. There was a lot of outcry about this move. Obviously, the people who are working from home are not so happy about not being able to work from home anymore. Um, there's also been conflicting information from different business schools saying that you know work from home is actually very productive and that you know criticizing Marissa for this move. Um, you know there's a whole other story regarding her being a woman CEO and whether or not if she was a man this would even be a conversation. But uh, what is interesting is you know talking about work from home and productivity and if it is good for a company. My take on work from home is that um, while it is awesome not having to go into an office, uh, I, I do have the uh, shiny object, red ball, uh, difficult to focus uh, mentality when I am working from home. Uh, it is easy for me to get distracted. Um, I think that when you're going to evaluate work from home, it's got to be on a case by case, employee by employee, uh, job function by job function basis. Uh, there are certain employees who probably can work, or who definitely can work unsupervised very well. There are probably a considerable, larger amount of employees who need supervision, whether it's to keep them in line, or it's to, I think there's a kind of a reverse motivation, there's probably a psychological term for, you know, the catalyst that, you know, you're thinking, oh, I'm being watched, I better at least look busy. <laughs> um, so, I don't know, what are your thoughts? You know, work from home is very interesting. My wife is definitely one of these people who can work unsupervised. And actually, I think that if she did work from home, she'd probably be even more productive than she already is. She's already very productive. But she does get distracted a lot when she's in the office because uh, in her position, there's a lot of small fires that people want put out. And they'd love to be able to just stop by and say, hey, uh, could you work on this for me when she's got larger projects that she needs to work on and so having uninterrupted time on her own in solitude is actually very beneficial for her um, you know that's the case for me in this job I have the ability if I'm away from people I can hunker down I can get focused I can do these videos it's much easier for me to do these videos when there's nobody else in the house except for the dogs uh, I feel a little bit less judgment by the dogs but um, you know, when I do go into my clients' offices, um, it, having that face-to-face -face interaction with them gives the ability to, you know, pick up different parts of the conversation that could be easily missed in email or even on a phone conversation or even on video chat. Um, also, with a face-to-face -face conversation, it can be easier for me to propose or pitch different or new ideas just because I can read how my client is at that, per at that particular time um, and, and tell their mood and if they, hey, maybe this is a good time to bring up the fact that we need to revamp everything we've been doing for three years or maybe I'll, I'll wait until after they fire that employee that they're dealing with uh, to bring up the, you know, the gaping wound type of thing, ripping the bandage off. So, um, you know, there's gives and takes, plus and minuses. What do you think? There's the email. As always, give me some feedback. Also, let me know, you know how I'm doing here, trying some different stuff. This is a slightly more long form concept. I mean, we're only talking still just a few minutes long, but uh, you know, single subject. Is this what you want to see? Do you want to see more uh, you know, goofy, zany projects or events happening in Phoenix? I don't know, you let me know. Um, either way, have a rocking badass day. See you tomorrow, it's hump day. We're halfway there and then, uh, you know, then it all gets good from there. So, talk to you soon.